This final report was created by Carolyn Boyce for the Master's Program of Educational Technology at the University of South Carolina. When reflecting on the internship I completed this semester, I think back to when I posted on Facebook at the beginning asking if people had ideas of where I could complete my internship. The next day after posting, the Technology Integration Specialist for Spartanburg County School District 1 approached me about completing my internship with the district, and specifically at Inman Intermediate. The principal of Inman Intermediate School was wanting to create a website to connect students, teachers, and parents and provide resources for them related to social and emotional learning. I was so thankful I could create something that would benefit my job but also help me strengthen my design skills. As Dr. Vincent and I reflected over my internship at Inman Intermediate School, we were very pleased about the amount of events we were able to incorporate at Inman Intermediate School related to social and emotional learning. The first was Millie the Therapy Dog visiting many classrooms. These photos are a few of the photos we took while Millie visited the students. The students were so excited to have Millie in their classroom and we're begging for her to visit again soon. The next was the mobile motivation cart. We created goodie bags and drinks for teachers to enjoy the day before Thanksgiving break, letting them know how thankful we were for them and to encourage them to keep up the great work. This was a thank you card I created that was attached to each goodie bag, letting teachers know how grateful Inman Intermediate School was for them. The next was the Upstate Coffee Coffee Chats. Coffee Chats was a program we created to encourage teachers to take a break and relax after school and enjoy each other's company. This flyer was sent out to teachers through email to encourage them to attend Coffee Chats. Our first event was very accessible at Upstate Coffee and many teachers are looking forward to the next Coffee Chat in January. This poster was created to promote social and emotional learning at Inman Intermediate School. Dr. Biz Vincent visited Carolyn's classroom twice a week for three weeks to incorporate social and emotional learning in the classroom. She did breathing exercises and incorporated Breathe for Change lessons in the classroom. This poster was created using Canva to promote yoga for teachers after school. This poster was hung up and found on the website so teachers would know what days and times the yoga group met to help incorporate social and emotional learning for teachers at Inman Intermediate School. Then, how are you feeling check-ins were created and found on the Mustang Pride website. Here are some examples that were used from students in their classroom. This how are you feeling today check-in was used at the beginning of a school day so students could express how they are feeling as they entered the school building. This was great for teachers to use so they can understand how their students are feeling and to check in throughout the day. This is the Mustang Pride website that was created after the principal requested to have a website created for social and emotional learning at Inman Intermediate School. This is the home page where parents, students, and teachers can learn what is social emotional learning as well as the importances of it. There's also videos and a bulletin board that was created that promotes self-care at Inman Intermediate School. Each image has a website link if clicked that will take them to another website so they can learn more about social and emotional learning. After viewing the home page, Students can click on their name, parents can click on their name, and teachers can click on their name. That will direct them to activities and resources more geared and prepared them for social emotional learning. So students will click on theirs and it will direct them to activities. If they click on the link, it will take them to that web page with the activity, as well as videos that will help students breathe or focus on social and emotional learning skills. There's also encouraging videos for students as well as the how are you feeling today that was viewed earlier in the video as well as brain pop resources. Students can click on the brain pop resources about emotions link or they can click on the drop down arrow and it will take them to the brain pop resources. Students can scroll down and learn about different social and emotional learning activities and issues that are found in the world today. Some are related to COVID, some are related to nerves, depression, mindfulness, there's many videos that students can watch to help them with social and emotional learning. Then parents can click on their name and it will take them to 
their web page where there's many activities and conversations and videos that can be had as they help their students excel in their social and emotional learning skills. Finally, there's the teacher web page where they can learn about lessons that they can teach to their students in the classroom. They click on this link or the drop down arrow lesson plans for social and emotional learning. There's the job aid that was created at the beginning of the internship that walks teachers th through how to incorporate social and emotional lessons in their classroom. There's also videos and there are website links with other teachers explaining how they use social and emotional learning. Then teachers can click on ways teachers can take care of themselves or go to the drop down arrow and click on SEL for teachers. And this is resources that benefit teachers and help them grow as social and emotional learners. There's website links, there's activities, and there's also videos and podcasts for teachers to engage in. This website is very interactive and allows students, parents, and teachers to grow as social and emotional learners. This poster will promote the Mustang Pride website for Inman Intermediate School. This poster will be sent out and posted on social media so parents, teachers, and students can easily access the website. Most importantly, I would like to thank Dr. Vinson for being a wonderful mentor and supervisor for this internship. She has shown patience, kindness, encouragement, and assistance throughout my internship. Dr. Vinson and I were able to promote social and emotional learning activities and resources for Inman Intermediate School. This experience allowed us to toss around ideas and think about activities that would benefit teachers, students, and parents. With support from the school administration, we were able to offer many different opportunities for teachers and students. We learned that there is a very important need for social and emotional learning at Inman Intermediate School. We hope we can continue to incorporate more activities and continue the activities already started throughout the remainder of the school year. Thank you again, Dr. Vincent, for all you did to help me succeed. I know I will use the opportunities from this internship to grow as a student.